Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. This is Lab 1, RLC Circuit and Resonant Frequency. In this video, I'm going to go over the important steps that you need to know to do your lab. Before you start your experiment and start the construction of your circuit, make sure you measure the value of your resistance, capacitance and inductance using the LCR meter. This value that you obtain from the LCR meter are the value that you use to calculate the theoretical value of your resonant frequency. It's very important for you to obtain this value before coming to the lab to decide the number of data points and the suitable frequency range to use in the experiment. On the IDL here, I have constructed the circuit as in figure 1 of your lab instruction. I've set the function generator to give out a sine wave signal with amplitude of 4 volt and a frequency of 1 kilohertz. In this experiment, we are going to use both channel of the oscilloscope. I've connected the channel 1 probe to go across the resistor and the channel 2 probe to go across the voltage source to continuously monitor the voltage waveform. Here on the screen, you can see that the blue line is the output waveform for the um, channel 2 probe and the output waveform of the resistor is in channel 1, which is in yellow. The data that you need to collect and gather for this experiment are the output amplitude as well as the phase shift between the two signals. The output amplitude is just the reading of this peak-to-peak -peak value which in this case is 1.12 volt display on the screen but you have to divide it by 2 because you want the amplitude value not the peak to peak voltage as for the phase shift there are two ways for you to obtain this value first you can do it manually by using the cursor um, function on the oscilloscope you can click cursor and then time and two cursors will display on the, on the screen. What you can do is you place one of the cursor at the peak of one of your waveform and the other cursor at the peak of your other waveform. And you can see roughly here that the uh, phase shift between the two signals are roughly 90 degrees. But the easiest way is actually to use the function phase shift available in this oscilloscope. You can find this function by clicking measure, go to channel 1 and find the measurement phase in the drop down menu. Okay, you click phase and select channel 1, channel 2. Sorry. Okay, click measure to remove this uh, menu and you can see here that the face channel 1 channel 2 is displayed on the screen and it's roughly negative 90 degrees in this experiment you are basically going to repeat the step over a suitable range of frequency. As you increase your frequency, you will reach a point where you're actually supplying your circuit with the resonance frequency of the circuit. How can you know that you have reached this frequency? Okay, I'm going to change the frequency of the function generator now to 15.5 kHz, which is roughly the resonance frequency of the circuit on the IDL. Click Auto Set. And adjust the um, voltage for division. Okay, so this is the output when we are supplying the circuit with the resonance frequency. What you can see here is that the peak is actually aligned. There is no phase shift between the input and the output. Because at resonance, the circuit behaves as a resistive circuit even though there is capacitor and inductor present in the circuit. And since it behaves as a resistive circuit, the phase shift will be zero as you can see here on the screen.
So those are the important steps that you need to know in doing this experiment. You will have to repeat these steps for parallel resonance circuits as well as for your part B, which is the circuit design. Even though the steps are the same, the behavior or the characteristic between series and parallel resonance circuits are different. You have to discuss these differences and this characteristic in your analysis and discussion. Thank you very much.